Ebony. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick peek around my porch. Um, this basically I kind of turned into my little plant room. So I just want to show you what's going on in here. Um, right here is just a bunch of junk, but it's also a bunch of just gardening tools. And then over here is where I have a lot of my plants. Um, I actually moved my Oxalis collection outside because my daughter keeps messing with it, pulling the labels out and knocking everything over. So I decided I'd just go ahead and put it outside. I don't know if I'll keep it kind of like just stacked all over the place like this, but that's how it is for now. Um, this is my golden barrel cactus. I have a lot of succulents and cacti. Um, the other thing that I'm thinking of doing is getting rid of a couple of these pots and trying to, like this pot right here, I'd like that to be a part of another arrangement that I have with mostly my most prickly plants. But um, I'm going to see. And then down here, this is just some cuttings of an... Uh, of a peace lily and topsy-turvy and this is a homolamina um, and prickly pear actually poor baby this little prickly pear has a little bit of fungus but I'm just keeping it in here I'm trying to I didn't water it for a long time so I'm trying to just let him recover um, but this is one of my favorite cacti arrangements and I'd like to put these here um, because they're just so, they're so dangerous. I can't, I, I just try to keep the ones that have like quills and things together. Um, anyway, over here, these are some of my pots. Um, I just got this set from Amazon and then I have a bunch of clay pots and I have a bunch of plastic pots and um, when I'm done using them I always wash them and then I'll put them out here or I'll put them in my other storage bin for the smaller ones over here um, this is one of my little succulents um, it's just an aeonium and some jade and over here these this is a pot full of aeoniums um, um, all different kinds actually because oh my god oh my god sorry still not used to that <laughs> um I don't know where he went oh he's in the pot okay well, I'll leave it alone but anyway, here are some more of my cacti and succulents. One of my a little gift that a plant friend of mine gave me. And um, this is one of my Hoyas that I have outside. I'm not sure why this did this, but um, just keeping an eye on it. And I just decided I would go ahead and let it stay outside it's been coloring up more since it's been out here um over here this is an orange scented geranium but to me it smells like dove soap so every time i come out here i have to touch it and then just <laughs> sniff my fingers because it smells so good anyway um this is a parallel pepperonia and this is another homolomina which doesn't look too happy in my house so I just set it outside. I'm gonna just leave it outside. And these I'm gonna take to work. Um, anyway, over here, I have a bunch of plant stuff. It's all closed properly, but it's just a lot of plant stuff. So like this package is all these clay balls. Um, and I ordered them in the mail and they came in this thing. But these are the ones that I've washed off. 
and I just put them in a Ziploc bag and um, then I just have a bunch of stuff some moss some decorative rocks really small rocks no this is turfus this is turfus then I have like um my one castings um straighten this several times but there's just not a real good way to keep it looking as neat as I want it to. Um so see if I take that stuff out that's in some left bags but it's just I just have a lot of stuff. And I didn't want to leave everything down here where I can see it all. Um but this little bench was just made out of some cinder blocks that a friend of ours had in his yard for some reason um so he gave us a bunch of cinder blocks and then this is an extra piece of wood that my husband had when he was doing some home repairs and so i actually just cut it and make like a two-tier shelf for me and um then on top of it i placed this because if whenever I would touch this, it would kind of like start to flip over. So now it doesn't do that anymore. And um, this is just another one of my little succulent arrangements. Um, this is like cuttings, rick rack cactus cuttings and things that are doing really well. Um, yeah. And then over here is where our grill is, which we never use. And I have like mulch and these are really huge pots that I have um, but what's in this one this was um, some old pots that cracked and ended up just breaking it into pieces and then I use them as needed for little things like just to give maybe a pot a little bit of height um, so that it's not directly on the ground I'll put a few of those down and do it that way and then along the front of the porch which badly needs to be cleaned are some more of my plants and where i have this really large succulent planter oh and this is a dead butterfly so sad it was beautiful um my husband and i i guess we're kind of weird but i saw it on the ground out here and so i picked it up and put it there and i just can't throw it away. I've never really touched a butterfly like that, so. Anyway, yeah, that's what there is. And um, then over here's one of my succulent planters. I had to dig this up and add in a bunch of perlite because it didn't have enough drainage. And um, I just rearranged a few things and it looks like it's doing better. Um, this is some more of this hanging jade that pot there and I think what I might do is add it in here right there I don't know I might just keep it separate I don't know but this is like with my Christmas and my Easter cactus and then I have some prickly pear there that's a piece of um, yucca that I have found somewhere. It's still alive. It doesn't look good. I cut it all the way back basically. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I might just keep it there for a while. And then this is um sneak plug. Okay, sorry. Um my phone cut off. I didn't realize it. I was saying this is a snake plant that's not doing too well, so I just moved him outside. Um any suggestions let me know this is a rangoon creeper and all right then i walked you oh this little stool i've had for years and years and years um but i think what i'm going to do is use some paint remover and then i'm going to remove all the paint off of it and i'm going to spray paint it red which is my accent color and then over here, I have some of my other tools and things that I use for my plants. And so, I just keep them here usually. 
Um, even if it rains, nothing's ever been really messed up. This can go in the trash. Actually, I have this um, plant, which is doing really well. You've seen it in my yard. Um, okay, yeah, that's that stuff that's there and just, um, oh, and then down here I have a little bit, this is where I usually keep my succulent cactus soil mix. And I also have a big box under here of some of my mom's things that need to be sent back to her. I'm sitting on this little stool where I used to keep all of my crochet stuff on my yarn and crochet needles. Um, it now just has some random things in it and so I don't really use it that often so I brought it out here. Um, just so I had something to kind of sit on and be comfortable when I was outside. But yeah, I mean like this aloe, I usually keep closer to the sun, but it got really brown and dark. So I knew it was getting a bit too much sun. So, and then these are some of my oxalis. Now, here's where I'm concerned. I do not know why this one plum crazy is looking so crazy I watered it um, I also removed some of the dead leaves but I don't know what the problem is so I think I'm gonna just spray it with some neem oil just in case it has some kind of bug or something um, but this is really a side note but yeah if you've seen my Oxalis videos, which you should check out. Um, you know how much I love this little plant, so um, I just like to see them healthy. I watered them, trimmed them back, and fertilized them yesterday. And um, all the leaves that were looking bad, I just I pulled them right out of the bulb. And um, yeah, so I did it. And then these are just you know some of my other succulents. Um, I may be adding some of these, like I said, just because I don't like having a billion in one pots. I don't think I have a billion, but I would probably, sorry, I keep putting my finger there. I would probably be happier with a lot fewer pots. So I want to take some of those really sharp ones, put them there, and I might take those. This is Sedum Trelisi. And this is a um, Chrysula Shark's Tooth. I might put those in my thing, in my long container with the other succulents. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is just what this is. Yeah. Oh, my mother of millions, mother of thousands. They're in here, they're growing, they're starting to come into their own and I just have this just a couple of things, this little crazy mystery plant. But I really like it because it grew up in my succulent bin. It's shaped like a perfect heart, so I like it. Um, yeah, all right, well, I just wanted to show you guys my little plant room. Here we go again. Yeah, I don't know if you saw them before, but these are my bins where I keep a bunch of stuff, and I have an extra trellis. Um, all right, well, thanks for taking a look at my video, and I'll see you soon. Bye!